Hey, Teffin here from whatever. Um, yeah, I uh, have not been keeping up with posting daily videos or video logs or whatnot for I don't know how long. Um, yeah, I just uh, have not been feeling well, um, both physically and mentally. Um, nothing alarming or anything, just... Um, yeah, just, I don't know, just trying to heal and feel better, I guess, I don't know. Uh, I can't wait till the winter's over. I uh, just, yeah, it's not, not easy on me, so. Um, anyway, I got, I think this is the Pentium 1 here, so we're going to put on these gloves and take it apart so that I can clean it up and uh, storage whatever from it, so. Yeah, that won't be this video though. That'll be another video you'll have to check out on Retro PC Gamers. So uh, maybe I'll leave a link in the description. If not, just check out RetroPCGamers.com. Links to the various social media there. So, yep. Sorry I'm not too enthusiastic at the moment. Just, yeah. Just trying to get that... Uh, energy and positivity back on track I guess so um I guess the other issue has just been that uh, like barely anybody has been watching any of my video logs either anyways so I don't know just kind of um I don't know it's like the you know the Wayne's World movie if you ever seen it where they're like if you build it they will come and I get people that say like oh you know just just keep posting videos and eventually, you know, people will start watching them and your audience will build up and that, I, I personally don't believe that. I mean, maybe it works for some people. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work for me. Like, four years later, so. I think that the most on a video I actually made was like a, something with a Cooler Master fan. It's got like 3,300 views as I was going through my YouTube and that's it. Like the rest of most of everything, I'm just lucky to see 30 or 50 views. So, um, yeah, it's a bit discouraging to say nonetheless. So I've realized that um, as I was watching, uh, yeah, I'll shamelessly admit that sometimes I follow um, McJuggernuggets, uh, Jesse Ridgeway a bit, and um, Kid Behind a Camera, and Boogie2988 and Billy of the Fridge and that's about the extent of that but nonetheless since they're all friends kind of thing is the reason why and I don't like necessarily support um, everything all of them do I know there's a lot of controversy around some of them so um, I prefer not to get um, tagged or added in on that or whatever so but nonetheless, um, back to the point, I saw a video recently where um, he'd mentioned, I think it was his house hunting video or something, he mentioned about that, um, you know, if you want to build things up on YouTube, then, you know, you really have to resort to um, becoming, I think he even said it, YouTuber or scum or something like that. Like, you have to do all the things of whatever's trending and whether it's fidget spinners or whatever and you have to jump on all the stupid bandwagons of whatever is hype just to get people to get onto your channel so you can build it up and then afterwards do what it is that you want to do to to be um oh yeah no i remember what video it was but none, nonetheless um i think it was someone else's video that he was in it with him but nonetheless like um point is that yeah, that seems to be really the real deal with things that you have to put a bunch of work into, a bunch of sleazy marketing and stuff that's not what you really want to be doing on YouTube, just so that you can actually build some audience of some people and then be able to do what it is that you want to do on YouTube, because that's just YouTube for you. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty much going to have to do that or whatnot. Um, went back, saw some of the videos that I've posted that wasn't my own stuff, just like clips of King of the Hill episodes, um, 
some Super Bowl clip from One Republic group and things and like thousands, tens of thousands of views on those videos. So like if that's what it takes, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Just uh, sorry if like the next chunk of content you see on my channel or channels is not things that um, you want to watch because you're actually here for the stuff I do. Um, I do apologize. Please just stick with me. Ignore those videos. Just don't watch them if you don't want to. But, um, you know, I got to do what I got to do to build up some kind of audience and some amount of people to be able to come watch my content and have some point and purpose in making all these videos and posting this stuff because it is what I enjoy what I do want to be doing and things and that just seems to be the only way to go about doing this stuff and things so and as far as my computer mods go and stuff like that like um, instead of spending more time actually putting out videos of them um, I'm gonna just have to work on marketing and marketing and getting stuff out over all the tons of different forums and different places to post your stuff and things like that for now I guess so I'll just take the Venom PC mod that I did do and just keep spreading stuff as much places as possible and build things up I mean hell I got over 4,000 friends on Facebook but that still <laughs> doesn't seem to do it to get much of anything for views and even taking some stuff sharing it across several Facebook groups and things like Barely anybody's looking at anything. All the CS coverage things. Facebook is horrible for if you share a video direct from YouTube. Like, they won't share that with anybody on your ma on their like people's home feed and stuff. So I got like no views, pretty much less than five views, I think, per each different like video. Like nobody actually goes to my page. I don't think people even do that to purposely visit a page to actually look at the stuff that's on there. They just if it's on their home feed then they take a look at it and you're lucky if they do like I don't know it's just a pain in the ass um, it just really sucks I mean it'd be nice if some people actually like on a regular or something purposely went to the page to make use of it then like I would have better reason to like keep up with doing these things to you like the whole point is to have made Tevin's Tech like a hub for PC tech hardware and things that people can be able to just go to the YouTube page or the Facebook page or whatever hopefully soon the website when I can get that going better but like in the meantime what's the point even getting it going or putting all that work into it when like nobody will even visit or use the YouTube or the Facebook page to uh, keep updated on tech news things or whatever and stuff so I don't know just it's frustrating to say nonetheless so yeah that kind of like I guess sums that stuff up so it's just pound it hard um, working away at getting marketing stuff done and getting things out so I can get people actually watching this stuff so um, so far I went through uh, at least my Teffen CA YouTube. I gotta finish going through the Teffen's tech and just marking so many things private and or just deleting it of different things on there. I noticed nobody's watching anyways, like Pokemon card unpackings, different stuff like that. So I figure what's the point in all that stuff just sitting there not being viewed. Um, who knows, maybe it affects the YouTube algorithm that they look at that and that's calculated in there that, oh, this guy's got tons of videos that nobody watches him, so he's not popular or important that we shouldn't bother sharing his video with people. Like, I wouldn't doubt it. Like, I don't know the full detail of how the algorithm works. I don't think anyone does because I don't think, as far as I know, they even post that publicly, which I think is a really shady thing from YouTube. I don't want to say anything worse about YouTube because who knows, maybe they'll freaking remove this video do, do who knows what. Like, I don't know, it's just very frustrating platform to work with. Um, I've looked elsewhere, being with other places, but nobody bothers to watch those videos or from other places either anyways and stuff, so I don't know. Just got to do what I got to do to work the system and things. And until then, there will be less video logs probably. And I thought about maybe 
posting them straight to Facebook and through my stories or something because that actually gets shared a lot more. So I might do that a little bit in the meantime as I work on building up marketing for the YouTube and stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, um, on to doing this. And then I got a video that's rather important that I'm working on. I have commented about it a couple places, but that's it. I don't want to say anything more because knowing my luck, some other person out there will take that idea and run with it if they're not already doing it and get it put out and things before I can and beat me to it. And I'll just be screwed on that too, just like half the other freaking things I've thought of or invented or ideas I've had so it just is how it is when you don't have money to be able to patent things and stuff like that so yeah sucks but whatever all right well um I hope you at least have a very happy day and um yeah if you watch this then awesome if you didn't then it wouldn't matter because you didn't watch this so right on all right later